when I think of you and your family, I think of, uh, you know, 15 plus years ago, uh, I, I used to work with them uh, on soybean varieties, soybean seed selection, and soybean cyst nematodes weren't much of a problem at that standpoint. I think growers have figured out that soybean cyst nematodes continue to grow as a problem. As we think about managing soybean cyst nematodes, we actually have a trial set up in this field to look at that. As we continue to do our farm on-farm trials, we found out you know, we were seeing benefits from Olivo and using that product on our soybean, whether it had been SDS, and as we start to sample more, it's just as much soybean cyst. Because everything starts out as a trial. You got to start small to figure out what works. We definitely had a strong correlation to those that were Olivo treated, helping suppress soybean cyst problems versus non-treated. I would like to see more farmers split fields, split planters, understand what the problems are in the field because if you do everything the same across the field you never discover what's going on out there. But even in dry years where you wouldn't expect SDS we're still seeing better yields and pushing the envelope farther than we have before and we're definitely seeing it with the Olivo treated beans. You know the genetics that we've got and everything have definitely helped push that ceiling higher but as they give us those tools to use and brought in and partnered with BASF to bring Olivo in to our sheds to help us use, I think we've managed to even push that another step further. The advantage that Olivo has given us year in and year out has been substantial, um, especially in a lot of the soil types that we have and a lot of the um, areas that we grow our beans because we do have some fields that are moderate to high populations.